Welcome back to the Racing Game Series version 2 and this is a special. So what I'm going to show you is just the code so we're not going to be programming anything. You can just download the code down in the video description. And what we're going to be taking a look is the audio. So I've been trying to build the audio system that works somewhat realistically and uh, what I came up is this. So I made a separate game object for the audio just so we can stay a little bit more organized. And what I did is I downloaded a equalizer. So usually the sound of the engine when we rev the engine up sounds something like cleaner, if that makes any sense. So what I did is I went ahead and downloaded a sound suit, which is this one right here. I'll link this down in the video description. And this has all of these filters. So what I needed was a uh, filter that will filter up the high ends and the mids. So the low ends should stay always almost the same. So what I did is I just dragged this equalizer and dropped it. And uh, this is how simple it was. So all you have to do, or should I say all I had to do is to vary this mid frequency and this high frequency so i build a code around it and this is the code so basically we create a reference to this equalizer and just name it eq then into the start method what i do is i add this equalizer to the current game object which means the game object that this audio is attached to and then this is the usual stuff that we already built in a previous episode I'll show you how this works in just a minute. So then after we do that, we build a function called filter and the filter is obviously run inside the fixed update loop. So this is all the usual stuff as you know it. And all I did in here is I vary these frequencies. So in order to vary them, we can't just go from zero over to one and back to zero. So we have to define some middle in here and a little bit higher than one. So it has to go from here all the way over to here somewhere. Not perfectly, obviously. So what I did is I defined a start off value. Now the start off value is usually 0.35 or maybe even lower, like 25, for example. So what I did is I defined a startup value, which is a very simple float value. Then I add the load. Now the load is just this acceleration fade, which is computed over in here. And after we take in the load, which is the acceleration fade, we just divide it by 1.5. So this is all inside a lerp function. Lerp speed should be 15 or even 20 but the 15 is kind of the sweet spot. And that is all I did. So now what I can do is I can just remove this filter. I can set a start off value. And then you obviously need these samples in here. So if you've downloaded my old project, my uh, racing game project, you should have some of these samples right there. So fill those up, mess around with these values a little bit. You can, you can also add a turbo effect, but I can't be bothered to do that. And uh, this is the audio. Okay, I fell off the map, but you get the idea. So um, that's all I did. Uh, it took me a very long time to figure this out, but you can just download it in the video description. I thank you for watching, and I once again thank you for all the support that you're giving me. So thank you again, and uh, I'll see you in the next videos.